okay so what we uh, look forward to do is basically there is a wind that uh, can tackle these panels and tilt these panels over uh, and uh, that wind has to be coming uh, uh, hitting us at this in this direction and that is when the maximum pressure on these panels are being laid and how do we overcome the situation is the real question uh, over to our next slide uh, okay what is that we are looking for so uh, in this direction in this example i've shown the direction of the wind in this direction it can also be the other way around because basically we are going to take the projection of this uh, uh, area line of the panels uh, which is exposed to the wind pressure so as you can see the force of the wind is the pressure of the wind times the projected area line so what does this mean this means that the area line over here will be under maximum pressure only when we take the projection of it why because you can see that if we take the p wind which is nothing but the pressure of the wind times the projected area line which is nothing but sine alpha times the total area line uh, which sine 13 degrees is nothing but a by the total area line so if you want the uh, to find what is the uh, uh, projected area line it's sine alpha times the total area line and hence you have uh, alpha of 13 degree to be equal to almost 0 0.22 uh, times the total area line that is nothing but uh, capital A and this says that it is nothing but 22 percentage of the area line so it is it is not that the pressure of this uh, if you closely observe this formula does it make sense you have to look at it in this way suppose if the projected area line was not like this and it was perpendicular to the direction of the wind then the pressure of the wind or the pressure on the uh, exposed area is going to be equal to the pressure of the wind right the total area has to be considered so if sine 90 was 1 then area of exposure is equal to the area of the panels right in this case it is inclined so the total area is not how do we find the actual area that is being exposed to the pressure of the wind is by finding multiplying it by the sign or the projection of the uh, this thing so basically this formula is correct it makes sense now because of the force of the wind there is an overturning couple and that is measured by C what is this now you have to understand that there is an overturning couple and where is that couple there's just one panel one line written over here uh, just a lame uh, joke but basically what it means is that this panel is exposed by a, is is exposed to the direction of the wind being this way right so because of this this panel wants to turn away right we are interested in finding what is that turning couple and we are interested in measuring that and find a solution to prevent that from turning out so basically this turning couple is defined it's nothing but the measured in energy so it is the ability to do something in this case it is about turning the panels down so the force of the wind times h what is this h going back to our diagram over here this h where is it written it's not written here but basically I have mentioned that I have a leg of 2.6 meters here and 2 meters over here so with that I can say that this is 0 0.6 meters but to be very careful with the terminologies the H is basically the distance between the topmost edge and the center of gravity of this structure I'll come to the part on how to determine the H for this structure later on. But as of now, you should remember that that overturning couple is nothing but the force of the wind times the H, which is the distance between the topmost edge, that is B dash, times the and the center of the gravity of the structure. It's not necessarily 0.6 meters, 
but i'll come to that part earlier uh, later sorry so basically the reactive force fr what is this reactive force because of this turning couple every action has an equal and opposite reaction so there should be a reactive force and that is what we are interested in finding because we are trying to obliterate or overcome those force and make our panel sit strong so that is defined by c by x as we know this is force of the wind times h uh, and x and x so they make sense so this is just to talk about the symmetry now if you were, if you are interested in finding the force on any one particular leg it is nothing but fr divided by the total reactive force divided by n no n by 2 because there is a symmetry that is being maintained over here okay so coming to the interesting part of overall weight of the structure which should oppose the reactive force fr so how do we plan to overcome this reactive force that is developed due to the wind is by the structure's weight itself so it should weigh w which is nothing but the total weight uh, total mass of the structure times the accelerator acceleration uh, due to gravity and if you are interested in finding the weight on one particular leg you can just divide it by n uh, provided the structure is under, under symmetry if not it is a different case so if we have this is the most important part guys just focus now if our weight of the structure is or not the structure the entire system is greater than or equal to f1 which is the overturning couple force uh, then we are safe right we can overcome this force and we have a greater force due to the uh, gravity which can overcome this force of this wind and as i explained the equation for weight per leg then wt by n is greater than or equal to according to this equation if you substitute those values here now this is the most important conclusion which is wt is greater than this is the basic condition for structure stability what does that mean this is a basic condition for structure stability what does that mean it means that the weight of the structure should be twice the time of the force of the wind wherever it is 